Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to save a LiPo battery that has only one damaged cell. So for example I have this 4S battery that this bottom cell got a little bit damaged because it got punctured here and this cell is no longer working properly. As you can see the first cell is 0.61, the other ones are okay so what I'm gonna do I'm going to open it up and remove this damaged cell now because you're working with uh, let's say a little bit dangerous batteries I recommend to be very careful and know what you're doing so if you're not sure that you know what you're doing maybe just discard this battery in a safe manner and just buy a new one so first let's start by cutting this battery case Then we need to remove the bottom part. Okay, so we separated this cell. You can see I also punctured here another hole. So as I said earlier, be careful. Now that we have uncovered everything, we need to desolder the balance board and the minus from this cell. And now we can safely disconnect the cell and just discard it. You can put it in a bucket of salt for a few days and then just put it away. Or you can put it in a dedicated battery trash bin. So this one is the damaged cell. The best way I think to find where you should connect the ground or the plus is to put, use a voltmeter, I'm gonna use put this inside and then you can see when I hit this pad now it says 1188 so what I'm going to do I just need to solder the ground to this pad so now you can see this balance port has nowhere to be attached to so what I'm going to do I'm going to move everything to the left and you can also buy a 3S LiPo balance collector and just connect everything to a 3S port or you can use, just use the 4S port and get rid of the extra one and move everything to the left in this case. So I moved everything to the left and before hooking everything up and see that it's working I'm going to use a voltmeter to see that everything is working fine. So let's have a look. So first of all, you can see that the voltage is fine. We don't have any problems with the polarity. So let's also check the balance port. So you can see it recognizes a three cells battery. The total voltage is 12 volts. And it recognizes all the cells. And of course, this battery has to be balanced, was stored actually for a long time. And the next thing you need to do, just put a cover on it. And now you have a working three cells LiPo battery. So I just put this duct tape on top and I'm also going to use this LiPo guard. And now this battery is good to go again. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.